Hello, um, it's Friday morning and this is my third attempt at making this video. Um, over the last like 24 hours. I recorded it yesterday morning and uploaded it without looking at it, which is what I tend to do usually because I don't really have, I don't really, I, normally there's not an issue. So, um, so I uploaded it and then discovered that um, there was no audio and I believe what happened is um, I've been using an external mic to cut down on the um, the background noise so I use this external mic um, and it plugs into my microphone jack and um, on the end like there's the actual mic plugs into So on the end, there's this is the mic, and then it plugs into this thing. Um, and the actual mic was like loose, so it wasn't actually recording because you can unplug the mic and just plug just that end part into the jack. Um, so and I discovered when I went to make my five awesome limes video that it was loose and I plugged it back in. So thankfully I noticed it before making that video, and so it wasn't like I made two videos and they were both, you know, washes. So that was my first attempt that didn't work out so well. And then my second attempt was last night when I got home um, and I was trying to make it before Eric got back from grocery shopping and didn't quite make it. And I, I'm i not at the point where I can just plow through and keep recording when he gets home. So I stopped. <laughs> um, I should have just kept going but and been like, hi, you know, whatever. But... Um, but I didn't. So now I've taken up two minutes explaining my previous attempts. Um, and yeah, so it's now Friday morning. Um, I made it through almost three days of the Tiger Cycling. Um, I ended up doing two and a half days and didn't do the last dose on Wednesday because Wednesday was just a really rough day. Um, the worst of the three and like uh was throwing up a bit in the afternoon um not too much but like enough so that it was a bad day um so i just like by like five or six o'clock i made the call i'm like i i just need to stop <laughs> i need this to stop um and partly i made the decision because last night um eric and i we're going to have the tasting at the venue where we're getting married. Um, so I wanted to be feeling well enough to actually be able to enjoy the food. Um, so by not doing the last dose on Wednesday, I was increasing the chances that, that would happen. Um, and we went last night and it was, it was good and I was able to eat some. And so that was good. Um, but I'm like, I'm still, I'm getting back to feeling normal. Um, normal for me um, but it's a process like it's I imagine each week is going to be this roller coaster um, of like the three days of feeling terrible and spending all day just lying on the couch I and mean, basically my days have been lying here on the couch bed um, like this has been my home <laughs> and like lying on one side and um you know sleeping or whatever listening to whatever show i have on the tv or movie um and after a while i get sore so, like my hip gets sore from lying on one side so i roll over and get comfortable on that side and like lie on that side for a while and i mean that's pretty much it like getting up makes me feel more nauseous um trying to look at the computer screen makes me more nauseous um, it's really, like, it's not fun. I, I'm not, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not digging it. Um, but I'm willing to do it right now. Um, now is the time when I can do it because I'm not working a job that requires me to be out anywhere for those days. Um, so I can be 
incapacitated, curled up in a ball for those three days, and then spending the next couple of days recovering. Um, it doesn't mean that it's fun, doesn't mean this is what I want to do, but, you know, I'll do it if it means that, you know, I'll be feeling better at some point. Um, so yeah, so yesterday was kind of a recovery day. I had to go out in the afternoon to meet with the minister of my church, um, a weekly, we meet every week, um, for my job. And that was kind of rough, like, leaving the house, um, was not easy. It was nice, it was really nice to get out. I hadn't been out since Monday, and that's not, like, I know that there are people who are actually housebound, and, like, I have been there, um, but it's been a while for me since I've been there. So, for me, like, just not having left the house since Monday was a lot. Um, so, getting outside and getting some fresh air, just, like, walking to my car was nice. Um, but, at the same time, like, I felt, it felt weird. Um, my head felt really weird. And, um, like, I was, I had to drive. And that felt a little bit strange. And, um, I felt like it maybe wasn't the best thing for me to be driving but I mean it was fine like I did fine but um but it's it's a weird feeling um I mean I've I've certainly felt that kind of spacey um fluff surreal kind of feeling before but um it was just it was just interesting um so I think it's all part of just coming out of those days of feeling so terrible. And I mean, it's hard on your body to deal with that. Um, but, you know, we deal with so much and we get through it. We find a way and we're so resilient. <laughs> it's kind of amazing. Um, so yeah, so I'm trying to build myself back up and prepare myself to go through it again next week, um, start back on it on Monday, um, trying to eat while I can, because I know that, you know, Monday's coming and that's going to bring not really eating, um, but I'm building up strategies for things to keep around that possibly I can eat, um, Wednesday evening I... Um, asked Eric to make me rice, and so he made rice, and I ate, like, two plates full of rice, and that actually helped. Um, I think I was partly, like, I was, I was super, super nauseous Wednesday night, but I think part of it was, um, from not having eaten, like, all day, um, that it was, like, that gnawing, gnawing pain and nausea from not having eaten anything and, like, having that empty stomach was part of it. So, like, it helped a little bit to eat something. So we're going to keep rice in the fridge and, um, you know, think of other things to keep around. But um, when I'm here alone, it's even hard for me to get up and go to the kitchen. So, um, so it's, you know, tricky. Um, so in other stuff, <laughs> so yesterday Eric and I went and did our tasting, which was great. Um, and we decided what we're having for our food. Um, which was really nice, and, like, we're making these decisions, and, like, we need to order invitations, and really moving forward with our wedding planning, which is really nice, um, and then tonight we're going to have dinner and play games with friends, which, is, which will be nice, um, and then tomorrow we're spending the whole day with his, um, up at, excuse me, up at his brother's, um, brother and sister-in-law's where baby Flora is, um, and his other brother and sister-in-law are coming. It's called the Brothers and Others Day, a name that Eric came up with and he's very proud of. Um, it's like a, we're doing a Christmas thing with just, just his brothers and significant others. Both of his brothers are married, and so I'm the only one that's not yet actually officially part of the family. Um... <coughs> So, yeah, so we're doing that tomorrow. Um, so it's going to be kind of a long day, but it'll be fun. Um, and then I have church on Sunday. 
and hopefully getting a chance to just spend time with Eric on Sunday also because we've gotten to spend time together this week but it's been you know me lying on the couch and him sitting next to me and that's pretty much been it um so yeah um and I've been today so far I've been really productive but um way overdoing it it's just before nine o'clock and so far I have a load of laundry in the washer that I need to go down and switch over into the dryer and put another load in the wash um the, I ran the dishwasher, cleaned up the kitchen, um, whipped up a batch of snickerdoodle dough that needs to chill in the fridge before I can bake it, um, dealt with some credit card stuff, um, we finally, Eric got me on his credit card, so I activated that, or actually I didn't need to apparently, but I called and found out that, and, um, did some stuff with that um, to manage things and um but yeah about a half an hour ago I probably should have stopped and lay down and um but I didn't so I'm not quite sure what that's gonna mean but I have like a whole list of stuff I need to do today including going out and getting blood drawn for labs um, Ordinarily, I would do my own labs. I would draw my own labs at home um, with my ports. That's what I always did. I got lab in a box kits, which some of you may be familiar with, um, and drew my own blood and then shipped it off to them. Um, with my pick line, I'm not comfortable doing that. So um, when I was at my doctor's office, when she ordered lab work, we drew it through my pick. It was quite the experience. Um, it was not. It was not easy. So I'm. I'm not gonna do that anymore. I'm just gonna get stuck and hope that they can find a vein in my left arm, which is not the better arm, unfortunately. Um, but I have to have lab work done this week and next week, and then I go to every other week while I'm on the antibiotics. Um, so yeah, so I have to go out and get that done. I also have to make pumpkin bread for a bake sale at church on Sunday, if I can manage it. Um, and probably take a nap in there. So, I've got a busy day. Um, so yeah, so that's, that's kind of the update. Um, I will probably not do videos over the weekend because things will be somewhat busy. Um, but I'll probably be back on Monday morning for week two of, I need to come up with a name for it, of the Tiger Cycling. I think, um, Sally knew in a message to me or on Facebook called it, um, Tiger, the Tiger. So maybe I'll call it the Tiger. <laughs> um, although it makes it sound like it has more power than I want to give it. So maybe I shouldn't call it the tiger. Um, so anyway. <sighs> um, Alright, well I'm going to eat my waffles that I have here. Um, and go switch my laundry. And I hope you're all having a good week. Um, it's Friday. Yeah, not that that means a whole lot for people who don't do much in the outside world. But, oh well. Except that it's the end of the work week for medical professionals. So actually, Friday is not a good thing for um, for people who are chronically ill. That's an interesting... Op I hadn't thought of it that way before. Um, but Friday is actually not a good day for people who are chronically ill because that means that it's like the beginning of the weekend. You can't get in touch with doctors if you need to. So Friday is actually not a good thing for us. Um interesting. Anyway, anyway, with that thought, I will leave you, and, um, I hope you all have a good day today and a good weekend, um, and manage to do something fun and enjoy yourselves and, um, feel well or well as well as possible, and, um, I will talk to you all soon.